What's up, y'all? This is Sonny James, West Coast Artist Relations for Serato, here at home in LA, and this is part two of how to live stream. Last time we went over some basic steps to get you going using a mobile device and a small audio interface. In this episode, we're gonna show you how to get started with another really basic setup using just one computer. Here's what you'll need. A laptop computer with Serato DJ Pro 2.4 or above, a working computer camera built in, a webcam or iPhone. I like to use the Logic Cam or the Epoch Cam mobile app. OBS broadcast software, which you can download at obsproject.com or streamlabs.com. A DJ controller or mixer that works with Serato, although you can stream using Serato DJ with the Play expansion too. A solid internet connection, plugging into your router directly using an ethernet cable. You want a minimum upload speed of eight megabytes per second. You can run a test on speedtest.net or fast.net. First thing is to check if you're on the latest version of Serato DJ Pro. Go to your Serato settings and see if the option to share output with other applications in the audio tab is checked. In Serato DJ 2.4 and above, there's the ability to stream to OBS directly using the virtual sound card. You'll need to install and set this up first if you haven't already. If you're using 2.5.5 or above, then it's even easier to set up using the Serato virtual audio device. Just go through the setup process and you should be good to go. Once you've installed the application, you'll be able to use this as an audio source in other applications and have all the sound coming out of your mixer and controller unaffected. Please note, if you're using an interface like the DS1, the mix won't be summed. So try to use a controller or mixer that allows you to record a master mix. Essentially anything with the MIDI crossfader. The other thing you want to check for is if your controller or mixer allows the mic to be sent to the virtual audio device. The next step is to open OBS or a similar broadcast software. OBS is a free software that allows you to broadcast to any live streaming platform. Another popular free one is Streamlabs, which is pretty much the same thing, but Streamlabs offers some extra functionality. When you open OBS for the first time, it gives you an option to do a setup wizard, which will check your computer specs and adjust settings automatically so you don't overpower your computer. Streaming can use a lot of CPU resources, especially when DJing as well. So if you don't have enough RAM or a good enough graphics card, you'll want to keep your output resolution on the lower side. 720p is totally fine. In OBS, you can set up scenes and combine sources together in those scenes to broadcast on your desired platform. I like to broadcast to Twitch, but you can choose whatever you prefer. To add an audio source, click the plus and select audio input capture to get the sound from Serato DJ in there. Select the option to create new and name it something like DJ Audio or something similar and select the Serato Virtual Audio option from the drop down menu. Now you've got your audio ready to go, we can move on to adding your camera so people can see you when you go live. Similar to adding audio, click the plus in the sources, but this time choose the option to add a video capture device. This could be your built-in camera on your computer, such as the FaceTime cam if you're on a Mac, or a webcam if you have one attached. Select whichever one you want to use by clicking Create New and selecting that option from the drop-down. If you don't have a working camera on your computer, you can use an iPhone if you have one. I like to use Epoch Cam by Elgato as it works with a variety of applications. Once installed and your phone is connected to the computer you're using, it should show up in the drop-down menu as an addable option. If you're using a webcam or mobile phone, you can get a cheap stand or tripod for it online. Now you can start adding images to your scenes if you want. You can pretty much follow the same steps as before, but you'll want to choose image from the menu and sources. Then browse for an image you want and put it in. You can get overlays and other backgrounds from Serato's website for free too. These will help you get a really pro looking DJ scene set up. And if you want to add GIFs or movies, you can do that too. Just choose media source from the sources menu. I suggest doing a quick recording in OBS before you go live for your first time, just to see how your computer is handling everything. Click start recording in the panel on the right and check the playback. On a Mac, these videos typically save in the movies folder. Choose your platform in the preferences of OBS under the stream tab. You can choose any available streaming service in the drop down menu or type in a custom service. But remember, the moment you click start streaming, you're live for real. It's a good idea to have a way to see what's happening while you're live. 
If your computer's handling OBS and Serato and you've got a bunch of tabs open on your computer, it might be too much for your CPU. I suggest having a device like an iPad or a phone or even an old computer that you can connect to the internet and see what's happening while you're live. You'll also want to engage in the chat and make sure everything's looking and sounding right. Moderation is pretty important to protect your chat and help engagement with your viewers. They can help keep the vibe and energy of the chat positive and help kick out any lames who may try to troll and derail your stream. At Serato and in the DJ community, we know a thing or two about trolls. But they don't have to be a problem in your chat if you have people who are quick to regulate them. Remember to join other people's streams and follow people that you like. It's really important to be a part of the community and support your friends. That way you'll have a chance to meet new people and gain followers too. Also, raid the homies channels when you're done streaming and share the love. It's kind of like gathering a group of homies that you're hanging with, putting them all on a bus and dropping them off at the next party. I hope this info is helpful to get you up and running using OBS with one computer. Be sure to subscribe to our channel as we upload new content regularly. And also check back for part three on how to live stream with Serato. Again, my name is Sonny James, West Coast Artist Relations for Serato here at home in LA. And I'll see you again real soon.